गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू सकल विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल ओके नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल सॉरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग राइट टुडे विल डिस्कस कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स ओके दिस विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर एम सेट एज वेल एज ई सेट आल्सो इन ई सेट एक्चुअली टू क्वेश्चन विल अपियर फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर Two questions will appear from this chapter. Whereas for M set, it has more weightage. It may have two, three to four marks. Okay. Right. Good evening. Okay. Let me give the introduction today. so first uh, let us consider let us consider x square plus 1 is equal to 0 okay we need to solve x square plus 1 is equal to 0 how to solve x square is equal x square plus 1 is equal to 0 and now plus 1 take this side You get x square is equal to minus one. Now we get x is equal to square root of minus one. So far, actually, we have we have not discussed about uh, square root of a negative number. Square root of a negative number. So that's why here this negative number, the root square root of negative number minus one, is considered as i. This i is known as iota. iota means imaginary or this is also called root of minus 1 is also called imaginary unit imaginary unit so now this x is equal to you can write i i is the imaginary number imaginary number so for example i is the root of this equation that's why now note we get important point c x square is equal to minus 1 we have substitute hi here therefore we get i square is equal to minus 1 you get this relation i square is equal to minus 1 okay understood now here after in this chapter wherever i square is there we need to take minus 1 So minus one. So now, so let us discuss integral powers of integral powers of i. This is very very important concept. Integral powers of i. So let us discuss first. integral powers of i what is the integral powers of i means see we know that we know that i is the imaginary unit u square is minus 1 i square is equal to minus 1 uh, now let us find out uh, i cube i cube means we can write uh, this is i square into i i square is minus 1 so we get minus i i power 4 i raised to 4 so then this can be written i square times i square you get minus 1 times minus 1 minus into minus plus so you get plus 1 even i raised to 5 that's why integral powers of i i raised to 5 means i to the power of 4 into i you can write it so that is i i to the power of 6 i to the power of 6 means i to the power of 5 into i i into i you get i square i square is equal to minus 1 understood now so like this we shall get it now i square i cube i power 4 i power 5 i power 6 we can find out so uh next now you check one thing 
i square plus i cube plus i to the power of 4 plus i to the power of 5. How much this value? What is the value of this one? What is the value of this one? So i square equals to minus 1 i cube is equal to minus i i to the power of 4 is equal to plus 1 i to the power of 6 is equal to how much i to the power of 5 is equal to i plus i what happens now here 1 1 gets cancelled i i gets cancelled we get 0 that means you remember one thing whenever i 2 3 4 5 are order in consecutive numbers then that powers will be 0 directly we can write 0 so that means I give one more thing, i cube plus i power 4 plus i power 5 plus i power 6, how much you will be getting? Absolutely 0. Even, even, see, let us check one more example also. Now i to the power of 2020 plus i to the power of 2021 plus i to the power of 2022 plus i to the power of 2023. Don't worry. 2020, 2021, 22, 23 are four consecutive numbers. Then this will be zero, obviously zero. Okay, understood now. So now, how to find, how to find the value of i raised to n where n belongs to natural number. Some bigger numbers are there. How to find out? Is there any technique for that one? See, shortcut we have that I will explain. Shortcut. So, in order to find that one, step one first what is the step 1 means? Divide n by 4. Step 2. Let reminder, reminder be r. For example, if you divide this n by power by 4, reminder be r, then step 3, step 3, this i to the power of n is equal to i to the power of r, i to the power of r. That means where r value will be like this, either 0, r1, r2, r3. So this we need to remember these values. What are the values we need to remember? i to the power of 0 means 1, you remember. i to the power of 1 is i. i square is equal to minus 1. Whereas i cube is equal to, you remember that, minus i. These values we need to keep, keep in mind. Keep in mind. So that means now I will give some examples. Let us do examples. 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 First one, the value of the value of i to the power of 320. i to the power of 320. The value of i to the power of 320. So, how to find out i to the power of 320? Don't worry. What is the procedure we need to follow? First, Divide 320 by 4. So, 4 AD ja 320. What is the reminder you get? 0. Here, R value is equal to 0. Therefore, I to the power of 320 equals to I to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So, hence, this I to the power of 320 equals to 1. Okay, now I give one more example. Second example. 
second example the value of i to the power of 2019 2019 2019 anybody what is the value of just practice it i to the power of 2019 anybody i to the power of 2019 what shall we do divide 2019 by 4 take the reminder so reminder equivalent to the this power reminder so that means what is the solution need to be done here first divide 2019 4 see 450 ja 200 am i correct 19 you will get it 4 4 ja 16 you get reminder 3 that means here this is the r value therefore i to the power of 2019 equivalent to 2 i cube i cube means we can write i square into i so minus 1 into i whose value is minus i this equals to minus i now i will give one more question now third one the value of the value of i to the power of 2021 2021 2021 value of i to the power of 2021 anybody i to the power of 2021 now here see the solution here tp is 2021 should be divided by 4 450 ja 200 so 21 you get it 4 5 are 20 so reminder is 1 that means r is equal to 1 therefore i to the power of 2021 20, equals to i to the power of 1 i that's all equal to i all of you understood so i will give some problems as quick as possible you need to tell me i to the power of 243 i to the power of 355 i to the power of 1000 i to the power of 2018 you give me the answers now give me the answers okay Just think. These values. Okay. Right. Right. So let us go to the fourth example now. The value of i to the power of 4n. Here n belongs to n. That means n is a natural number. What is the value of i to the power of 4n? i to the power of 4n. That means generally we do the solution like this. 4n divided by 4 4n times 4n reminder is 0 so therefore i to the power of 4n equals to how much i to the power of 0 1 so similarly you remember now similarly you remember i to the power of 4n plus 1 is i i to the power of 4n plus 2 is minus 1 i to the power of 4n plus 3 is minus i 
that means I can list out all these things here. You remember, i to the power of 4n equal is to 1. i to the power of 4n plus 1 is 1. 1. Remainder is 1. i, you get it. i to the power of 4n plus 2 equal to i square minus 1. i to the power of 4n plus 3 equal to i cube is minus i. These are very, very important. You remember. And one more result also, you will get it. Very, very important result. i to the power of 4n plus i to the power of 4n plus 1 plus i to the power of 4n plus 2 plus i to the power of 4n plus 3 is always adding 1, 1, minus 1 cancel, i, minus i cancel. You get 0. This wonderful result, you will get it. This result, just note down. It's an important result. Right, understood now all of you? Okay. Now let me, let me move to the definition. Definition of the complex number. What is the definition of the complex number? So now, so far we have discussed about only imaginary number, imaginary unit and properties of the imaginary unit we have discussed. Simple. Okay. Now the definition of the complex number. Understood all of you? I, I hope everybody will understand. Now, let A, comma B be two real numbers. Two real numbers. They are not imaginary real numbers, then the number of the form, number of the form A, real number plus imaginary number, real number plus imaginary number, a complex will be formed, a complex will be formed, complex between real number and next imaginary number that is called complex number from a plus i b is called a complex number complex number denoted by z that means z is equal to a plus i b z is equal to a plus i b that means you can write like this complex number is equal to complex number equal to real number plus imaginary number imaginary number is called complex number is called a complex number this is real number plus imaginary number that means now year after in z is equal to a plus i we can name a and b okay let us discuss now next so now let z is equal to a plus i b. Then a is called a is called real part real part of z real part of z and b is called not b i not IB, not BI, not IB. B is called imaginary part. Imaginary part. Imaginary part. So now we can denote like this also. Real part of Z. Real part of Z. Shortly we can write re of z so re of z is equal to a 
imaginary part of imaginary part of z equal to im of z is b don't write i b. this is called real part this is called imaginary part understood now so now i will give some questions you need to answer now i will give some questions you need to answer now okay examples let us discuss examples examples first example the imaginary part of the imaginary part of z is equal to 3 plus 4i is first option 3 second option minus 3 third option 4 fourth option minus 4 so which is the right option which is the right option which is the right option Chetan Chandra very good very good fourth option fourth option fourth right now solution see imaginary part of z im of z is equal to 4 this only you need to write ok one more question I will give it the real part of the real part of z is equal to minus 5 plus 3i is first option 5 second option minus 5 third option 3 fourth option minus 3 ok what is the tagore what is the answer for second one what is the real part of z what is the real part of Z? Tirupati, Mumaya, Suma, Venkata, Balu, Umshi Krishna Yadav, Ishwar, Golapelli, minus 5. Very good, Ishwar. Sumant, Jinka. Right. Now, let us write. Now, the solution. Real part of Z equals to so this one is the real part so minus 5 second option is the right option now third example the real part of the real part of z is equal to 7i is first option 0 second option 7 third option minus 7 fourth option 1 so which is the right option now see the question third question now third question Chetan Chandra 0 0 0 ok Venkat right Bunny Bunny Option 1 Very good Option 1 okay, Let us see Now this Z can be written like this Imaginary part is not Sorry real part is not there 0 plus 7i you can write So therefore we are asked real part Real part of Z is equal to 0 So now some important points to be noted Note down Here note note let z is equal to a plus i b and a is equal to 0 that means real part of z real part of z equal to 0 then z is purely 
imaginary purely imaginary if real part of z is equal to 0 then it is called purely imaginary fourth example the imaginary part of the imaginary part part of z is equal to 5 is first option 5 second option minus 5 third 0 fourth 25 okay right what is the imaginary part of z is equal to 5 here yeah, see z equals to we can write 5 plus 0 multiplied by i therefore imaginary part of z is equal to 0 so third option so you can remember one important point now we can note one important point let z is equal to a plus i b and imaginary part of z that is b is equal to 0 then z is purely real purely real purely real purely real okay these words purely imaginary purely real purely real okay next concept next concept is very very important concept okay you may be new no problem no problem next concept modulus of a complex number modulus of a complex number this is very very important modulus of a complex number how to find out modulus of a complex number this is very important modulus of a complex number see let z is equal to a plus i b then the numerical value the numerical value root of a square plus b square is called modulus modulus of z denoted by denoted by mod z therefore z is equal to sorry mod z is equal to mod of a plus ib equal to root of a square plus b square so this can be remembered like this also root of real part of z all square plus imaginary part of z all square am i correct so mod z we can remember like this under root root of a square plus b square okay this is real part of z square plus imaginary part of z square this is called modulus of a complex number modulus of a complex number so let us solve some examples now examples modulus of 3 plus 4i equal to modulus of 3 plus 4i equals to what is the modulus of 3 plus 4i what is the modulus of 3 plus 4i 
imaginary part square plus real part square. Okay. Now, solution. Let us say z is equal to 3 plus 4i. Okay, mod z equal to what we need to write? Root of imaginary uh, real part 3 square plus imaginary part 4 square. This will be root of 9 plus 16. This is root 25. You get 5. Okay, I give one more question. You try it now. Second question. Modulus of 5 plus 24i. This takes 7 plus 7 plus 24i. You take it 7 plus 24i. 7 plus 24i. What is the modulus of this complex number? Good, 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 good. Nani, good. Suma, good. Playboy money. Okay. Got it all of you. Right. Swati Singh. Narla, not getting. Okay, Suma, one time is enough. Right, very good. So, that means your solution directly I am writing root over 7 square plus 24 square. So, 7 square is 49. Plus 24 square is 576. That means we get root of 625. Whose value is 25. Square root of 625. Is. Okay, understood now? Okay. Now I will switch over to the next concept. Conjugate of A. Conjugate of A complex number conjugate of a complex number conjugate of a complex number next concept is conjugate of a complex number the money are you following or not ok no problem so conjugate of a complex number let z is equal to a plus i b then a minus i b just change the sign of imaginary part if plus is there minus minus is there plus so then a minus i b is called conjugate of conjugate of A plus B I denoted by denoted by Z bar Z bar that means here you remember if Z is equal to A plus I B then Z bar is equal to A minus I B here one interesting factor. What is the interesting factor means? Here mod z equal to root of a square plus b square. What is mod z bar? That is also root of a square plus minus b whole square. This is also root of a square plus b square. That means both models are moduli are equal. That means mod z equals to always mod z bar. Understood now? Modulus of a plus a plus i b and a minus i b both will be same. Equal. Mod z is equal to mod z bar. Mod z is equal to mod 
Z bar. Now I will give some examples you need to do now. Okay. Examples. The conjugate of the conjugate of 3 plus 4i. Okay, I will check your answers. 3 plus 4i. 3 plus 4i is. What is the conjugate of 3 plus 4i? What is the conjugate of 3 plus 4i? Anybody? What is the answer? You need to chart it now. Wonderful, Revati. K. Chetan Chandra, Ishwant, Nani, Narla, Balu, Lakshmi Bai, Prasad, Chinnu Patel, Venkatesh Avala. So, today any new viewers are there, please subscribe all of you. Like, subscribe and share. You need to do it. Okay, Ishwar Gollapelli, Raj, Kottapelli, Emasri, Arshita Jornada. Right, thank you, thank you. Now, this is my choice now. Let us say Z is equal to 3 plus 4i uh, conjugate Z bar. Just change the sign that's all. Change the sign of imaginary part itself only. So now I ask you one question now. The conjugate of the conjugate of 3 minus 5i is 3 minus 5i is Yes, this is actually meant for E set only. E set and M set, both. Okay. 3, 3 minus 4i. Right, 3 plus 4i. Solution, let us say Z is equal to 3 minus 5i, therefore Z bar is equal to 3 plus 5i. Now I give some examples, you try now. Conjugate of minus 2 plus 3i, conjugate of minus 2 minus 3i. Conjugate of 2 minus 3i. Conjugate of 2 plus 3i. So, conjugate of this one, conjugate of this one, conjugate of this one, and conjugate of this one. Write down in your notes. Conjugate of. Conjugate of. Okay, wonderful practice, everybody. Okay, right. Next, next concept additive. inverse of a complex number additive inverse of a complex number additive inverse of a complex number what is the additive inverse of a complex number suppose c let z is equal to a plus i b then multiply both real part and imaginary part with minus sign. Minus EA minus IB is called the additive inverse of A plus IB. 
denoted by minus z therefore additive inverse of z equal to minus z that's all okay okay i will i have the work in the 7:30 we don't have any class tomorrow right now i will give some examples you try write additive inverse of inverse of first one 2 plus 3i second 3 minus 4i third minus 5i plus 7i fourth minus 7 minus 24i write the additive inverse of 2 plus 3i 3 minus 4i minus 5 plus 7i four questions i have given four questions i have given four questions are given no tomorrow mo not morning class only 430 430 no not at completed it to be completed in the morning session that will be completed right 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 everybody is correct right wonderful wonderful good job so for this one 2 minus minus 2 minus 3i for this one minus 3 plus 4i for this one 5 minus 7i for this one 7 plus 24i correct have you checked all of you checked all of you thank you thank you now multiplicative multiplicative inverse of a complex number inverse of a complex number multiplicative inverse of a complex number multiplicative inverse of a complex number right right chetan chandra let z is equal to a plus i b then 1 upon a plus i b is called the multiplicative multiplicative inverse of z okay that is 1 by z therefore multiplicative inverse of z equal to 1 by z but in the examination answer will not be in the form of 1 by z that will be in the form of a plus ib form that we need to check it now so let's have a some practice session now here before going to find out uh, now i ask you one question what is a plus ib into a minus ib so what is the product of these two a plus ib into a minus ib so what is the value of a plus ib into a minus ib vaishnavi rati devi after long time where had you been vaishnavi ah uh, now 
we have one important formula from algebra a plus b into a minus b which equal to everybody knows a square minus b square so that means this can be written now a square minus ib whole square we get a square minus i square b square already we had a discussion i square is minus 1 so a square of minus i square means plus b square so for example this is z this is z bar z into z bar is equal to mod z square we get a one important note important note we'll get it important note for example this is z we know this is the conjugate complex number this will be the mod z square therefore z into z bar is equal to we can write mod z square also or mod z is equal to we can write root of z into z bar this is very very important concept we derived right now okay one question i will ask let me ask the one question examples multiplicative inverse of multiplicative inverse of 3 plus 4i is multiplicative inverse of 3 plus 4i see the solution first i complete one problem after that you may do it let z is equal to 3 plus 4i multiplicative inverse is 1 by z 1 upon 3 plus 4i but what we need to do now we need to conjugate conjugate means multiply with the conjugate complex number that is 3 minus 4i am i correct now 3 minus 4i so 3 minus 4i into 1 3 minus 4i upon this already we discussed what we have discussed here see z into z bar is equal to mod z square so that means we can write this is what is mod z mod z is equal to root of 3 square plus 4 square that is root of 9 plus 16 root 25 root 25 is equal to 5 here mod z square we need to write that means 25 this we can separate it like this 3 upon 25 minus 4 upon 25 i this is the multiplicative inverse of 3 plus 4 i 3 plus 4 i ok shall i give one more problem second problem multiplicative multiplicative inverse of inverse of 7 minus 24 i 7 minus 24 i Seven minus twenty four i. So now I ask you one question in this uh, now session. How many E set students are there? E set, raise your hands. All of you just chart it S S S S like that. How many E set? Mohana Krishna, okay, yes, Ramya, right, yes, 
a kill right only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes 8 9 right one time only one time only it's not e set it's a m set only both e set and s m set both are same chapter common chapter i have started common chapter i have started this is the common chapter right so now right thank you thank you anadal thank you so now let z is equal to 7 minus 24i uh, we need to find out 1 by z okay 1 by z 1 by 7 minus 24i multiply with 7 plus 24i upon 7 plus 24i now 7 minus 24i into 7 plus 24i is mod z square. Uh, mod z find out first of all. Mod z is equal to root of what? 7 square 49, 24 square 576. This will be square root of 625. This will be 25. This is mod z square. 7 plus 24i by mod z square is 625. So 7 upon 625 plus 24 upon 625 i okay now you are able to find out uh, you are able to find out uh, this multiplicative inverse additive inverse i already we have discussed so many concepts okay i ask you one question here now what is 1 plus i whole square what is the value of 1 plus i whole square what is the value of 1 plus i whole square? Srija Bodala, actually, I think after a long time, actually, I have been observing you in the classroom. Please don't chart like that. Already I got it in mind. Please don't chart again. Okay. Right. What is 1 plus i whole square? See, 1 plus i whole square means you need to uh, use a plus i b whole square that is a square 1 square 2ab 2 into 1 into i plus i square very interesting this is 1 plus 2i i square is minus 1 both cancel you get 2i now find 1 minus i whole square what is 1 minus i whole square what is 1 minus i whole square So, whether it may be M set or E set examination, but you need to remember this one. This will be very, very important. You need to remember 1 plus i whole square means 2i. What is 1 minus i whole square? Why should I do? I will explain. I will come to the application part. Yes. Uh, this will be what? A minus b whole square formula. 1 square minus 2 into 1 into i plus i square, b square only. 1 minus 2i minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel minus 2i please all of you remember these two we list out like this 1 plus i whole square is 2i 1 minus i whole square minus 2i during main sessions i won't repeat again this one you need to remember it you need to remember 1 plus i whole square is equal to i, 1 minus i whole square is equal to i. Okay, I will, I will give one more. What is 1 plus i into 1 minus i? What is 1 plus i into 1 minus i? What is 1 plus i into 1 minus i? Anybody? This is actually mod z square. Mod z square means 1 square plus 1 square. Imaginary part also 1 square. 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus i into 1 minus i is 2. So that means you remember this one also. 1 plus i into 1 minus i is 1 minus i square that is 2. 
so these points remember in your mind okay now i give one important question how many of will do i will check now example this type of question may be asked in the exam examination the value of 1 plus i by 1 minus i equal to equal to a plus i b then the value of the value of a plus b equals to first option 1 second option 2 third option 0 fourth option minus 2 so now you do this problem Okay, you think? Right? Okay, multiply both numerator and denominator with 1 plus i because the conjugate of 1 minus i is 1 plus i. So now this can be done like this. 1 plus i upon 1 minus i multiplied by 1 plus i upon 1 minus i 1 plus i sorry this will be 1 plus i whole square this is mod z square this is 2 see in this case this is 2 what is 1 plus i whole square 2i so this will be 2i by 2 this is i equal to a plus i b comparing on both sides here a is 0, no real part in this one, a 0, b is 1. We are asked a plus b. a plus b is equal to 0 plus 1. 1. That means first option is the right option. First option is the right option. Okay, this type of question may be asked in the examination also. Second question I will give it, you try to solve it. The value of 1 minus i by 1 plus i equals to p plus i q. Then p square plus q square equals to first option 2, second option minus 1, third option 1, fourth option minus 2. You try this question all of you. I want the solution now. Okay. Okay, all of you check. So let me complete my method now. Solution 1 minus i by 1 plus i multiplied by the conjugate of 1 plus i is 1 minus i. 1 minus i upon 1 minus i. This is 1 minus i whole square. Upon this will be z into z bar is mod z square is 2. This will be minus 2i upon 2. So, minus actually i minus i you will be getting. So, you need to compare with p plus iq. There is no, this is purely imaginary. That means real part is equal to 0. Imaginary part q is equal to minus 1. What we are asked? p square plus q square. 0 square 0 minus 1 square plus 1. 1. So, answer is 1. So now, year after, all of you remember this one also. 1 plus i by 1 minus i is i. 1 minus i by 1 plus i minus i. 
please remember these points this will be very very important okay now i give one question you try to solve it third the value of 1 plus i by 1 minus i whole to the power of 20 20 equals to first option 20 20 second option 20 19 third option 1 fourth option minus 1 sorry third option i this is plus 1 So this will be the actually slowly the level will increase like this. If you know the concepts, with the help of concepts, this problem can be solved with a fraction of second. See, 1 plus i by 1 minus i is nothing but what? i. That is nothing but i to the power of 2020. I already discussed i to the power of 2020. Yes, it might be previous m set question or pre previous i set question also. So how to solve this one now? Solution. We know that, we know that 1 plus i upon 1 minus i, you need not simplify, directly you can remember i. Therefore, i to the power of 2020 need to find out. Now, shortcut, 2020 should be divided by 4. 450 ja 200, 20, 4 5 ja 20, reminder is 0, this equal to i raised to 0 is 1 absolutely so that means fourth option is the right option fourth option is the right option okay thank you one and all bye see you i hope you might have enjoyed this class huh? uh, now i request even the e set students and m set students all of you give the your feedback after completion of this session so you will get uh, uh, below description box you may find comment section in that comment section today i need more than 50 suggestions i should get from you so tomorrow morning the class is meant for absolutely m set students only that is 9 30 class that is co combinations will be continued but this session is meant for both the sessions e set as well as m set classes whenever m set definitely i will bifurcate the classes Thank you, Vananda. For E set students, 4:30. For M set students, also 4:30. Tomorrow, also basic classes will be discussed. After that, both the classes will be get separated. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Vananda. Bye bye.